Well, the PVL Invitational Conference is officially in full swing and the fans were treated to an exciting triple header on opening day. Now to tell us all about the standouts and what to expect in tomorrow's games, we have with us volleyball analyst Neil Flores, whose nickname I won't use yet. I'll, I'll save that for another time. Neil, how are you? I'm good. Long, always a pleasure to be here. Long time no see, partner. I am that always, always there. But Neil, uh, first impressions first with uh, what we all saw in that opening day. So many new faces, new teams, and just a lot of excitement to see how everyone is going to be looking after a bit of a break. This is how it's supposed to be. We wanted more teams. There are a lot of players out of the pro scene, but now they found their new homes in the new club teams. So nakita rin natin that volleyball itself nag elevate din siya in the PVL. I like what you said in the pregame when we did the intro when you said it's like a new era for the PVL. It feels like it too. All right, let's talk about the games yesterday. First, F2 and um, Farm Fresh. F2 winning that one. It was like a CSV DLSU yeah, yeah. battle <laughs> yesterday, kind that. of, yeah. right? <laughs> With a little bit of Adamson in there. Yeah. Uh, what were your general impressions? Especially, okay, one with F2 a starting lineup that mm. surprised a lot mm. of people. And then the mixture of players with Jerry Yee for Farm yeah. Fresh. Yeah, we can start with the Farm Fresh. We're so used to seeing UAAP players move up the professional ranks. So it's a nice change to see the core of CSB to join Coach Jerry Yee in uh, the PVL. We saw Kate Santiago there, one of the Adamsonians. Risha Tubu came off the bench. Right. Yeah. But there was one player who impressed me the most. It was Gail Pascual. The MVP. And yeah. uh, the MVP, that's one of the questions that we ask new teams. Sino yung magiging ace? And uh, with uh, that three-set loss against F2 Logistics, she punched in double digits immediately. And uh, I believe that she will go a long way. She's very young. You can see that the fundamentals are already solid. So with uh, Coach Jerry on the side, mm. malake yung i improve pa niya in the PVL for the F2 Logistics cargo movers. We weren't surprised that they used Jolina de la Cruz Mars and Alba. Mars Alba. And yeah. Mars Alba had a spectacular game. What a game. debut, yeah. I would say that she had that perfect connection, especially with Majoy Baron. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a nice change because right now we're seeing a flashes of brilliance na mas solid yung contact ni Majoy Baron. Mm -hmm. they're, they're loving the setting style of Mars Alba. And since galing din naman siya sa DLSU system, wala naman masyadong adjustment. So it just feels right that they yeah. ended up in uh, the nest of F2 Logistics. Yeah, pa parang tama yung plug and play nila. And uh, again, not a lot of adjustments as you mentioned with the DLSU system. Now moving on to the second game here. Mm. Signal against Petrogas and it was the only one that did, that did not end up in straight sets. Yeah. But still Signal, <laughs> impressive in the win. Pero Neil, we were talking a bit off the air saying that Signal's a bit underrated yeah. going to this conference. What does this first game show? You know, my favorite match of the day was the Signal and Petrogas game. It felt like five sets. It felt it? like five yeah. sets. Uh, Signal came behind in the fourth set to take uh, to take the game. And underrated siya because Jovelin Gonzaga was already with them before. Yeah. So yung pagbabalik niya, it wasn't something new. No adjustments were actually needed to happen. Pero ang pinaka magandang nakita ko for the HD Spikers was the injection of Vanny Gander. Right. And uh, yun yung pinakakulang ng signal in the past few seasons. They needed a substitute for the outside hitter position if ever lang may off game yung isa. And she stepped up. Eight points in your debut as a pro. And that's a really good sign. Yeah, among players like Ces Molina, Rachel yeah. Andakis. You know, that's always tough, Pau and Neil, right? To incorporate yourself in a team of veterans and stars already. She looked like she was just loose and happy yeah. yesterday and was very effective. Quick thoughts on Petrogas Angels, though. They're, they're not done yeah. even yeah. after this loss. Chemistry, never a problem for Petrogas. Even if MJ Phillips was not there, you can see na they could have won that game. And I'm very confident when I say that they are still finals contender right. this season. Yeah. Uh, Janelle Che and Isa Maizo Pontillas, they had limited minutes because of their stint in the AVC. They just arrived in they the morning. They just arrived, yeah. but they were still able to challenge a solid signal team. Right. Yeah. So Petrogas will surely bounce back the following game. You know, great firepower as well. Uh, Greta Sultanis with 22 points, Jonas Abete with 21. So really a lot to look mm -hmm. forward to for the Petrogas fans. Now, the last game was Creamline against Cherry Tigo. Thoughts Carlos exploding. It, it feels like it, it's <laughs> inevitable. Yeah. Oh. Word na exploding. Yeah. I, I don't know how to describe it anymore, but then you take a look at those two teams. Uh, what stuck out the most for you? Thoughts Carlos being Thoughts Carlos. <laughs> 
nauubusan na nga kami ni Boom na <laughs> words to describe her game yesterday. Eliza Valdez was also back, but I feel like the mental state of Eliza is still not 100%. The movement was there. But iba pa rin na uh, seven months ka na wala. Yeah. Then we go to the Cherry Tigo crossovers. New possessions right there. Pauline Gaston as a middle. Ea Laure had a quiet 14 points. She was Can't the target. Can't believe you're saying yeah, that. Right? It was a quiet 14 <laughs> points. I, I felt that she struggled a bit, especially on uh, the service reception part. Right. But she talaga yung target. Mm. The, the Laure sisters was the target of right. Creamline. So that's one aspect of her game that has to change now in the pros. Right. But positives, I know I asked you about that last night, for, but for those who didn't see that coverage and are watching tonight, what are the positives to take from the Cherry Tigo moving forward? Uh, Movement-wise, Joy Mekagande set the tone for offense. Maganda yung distribution niya sa wings. She could have gone more to the middles. But again, it was very difficult for her to do that because of the botched passes. Mm. But I would say it was a good game. Right. A debut game for Joy Mikagande. You can see the best setter in her there. Right. Yeah. Cream line ka agad eh. Medyo, it's hard to tell ano, when, when you're that. But maybe two to three games, we'll see what Cherry Tigo is all yeah, about. Yeah, baptism through fire. And again, it, it feels like a new team because of all the new pieces anyway. So let's see how far they can go. Now, previewing some of the games happening tomorrow, a uh, lot of keys to winning. Expected debuts here for Choco Mucho and Photon. You take a look at all the matchups. to start off first with Creamline and Jerfloor. What do you have, what do you have to say about that? Gabi <laughs> Jerfloor. <laughs> <Sila Jer, laughs> Jerfloor is a new team, so they can expect yeah. a very warm welcome from the <laughs> Carlos. <laughs> sure, yeah, no, uh, heavy serving <clears throat> pa rin ang gagamitin ng Creamline to just pick apart yung defense ng opponent nila. But for Jerfloor, uh, they're a collection of players that have been uh, with different teams. Shannon Palak is there. Ivy Perez is there. And daming Justin mga veterans. Dorog. Justin Doric. Eliza Bertolano will Correct. also be seeing action yes. as a rookie here in the PVL. So they're also a mix of veterans and the young ones. But as we always say, you have to temper your expectations yeah. when you watch a new team. Mm -hmm. How about the expectations for CC Rondina mm -hmm. tomorrow and Choco Mucho as they go up? against Farm Fresh, who's going to try to bounce back from a loss yesterday. Parang never siya nawala sa indoor. I mean, there, there were a lot of videos circulating on social media. I saw her play live in one of their trainings. She's still as explosive as ever. Pareho lang yung backline and frontline niya. So that's something to watch out for. Exciting. <laughs> it's really exciting. Farm Fresh, uh, they <laughs> have to try to bounce back. Dahil, alam natin, veterans din itong Choco Mucho. So, they want to finally end up in the podium. You know, tough start then for Farm Fresh. After F2, now facing Choco Mucho is always going to be an interesting test for that group. Ito naman, Petrogas versus Photon. Uh, wrapping that all up, you take a look at what Petrogas is trying to do as well as Photon. We're not quite sure what Photon is yet. We haven't seen them yeah. in action, but what can we expect from them? For Petrogas, you can expect Nang Aiza Maiza Pontiles and Janelle Cheng to be in the first six. Play more. For yeah, sure, yeah. that's going to be the major adjustment. Again, single round robin, you can't afford <laughs> yeah, two true. or three losses in the pool phase. As for Photon, they will be led by Jasmine Nabor and Shaya Adorador. And yung shift mm. ni Shaya from Cherry Tigo to Photon, I wasn't super happy with it because I, I was really hoping that she got that second outside hitter position. Sa cherry cherry. Tigo. Perfect siya dun. <clears throat> yeah. But she now, did. she can finally step up and make a name for herself as the leader and the captain of this new team. All right. So we'll see all of that tomorrow. Another triple header to greet the PVL fans. Neil, as always, thank you very much and we'll see you this week. Thank you. In the meantime, the PVL Invitational Conference continues tomorrow for another exciting triple header, as I said. And you can experience a new way to feel the heart of volleyball. Watch every set spike, dig, and block on any device, anytime, anywhere, via Pilipinas Live. Download the app now and subscribe for only 99 pesos per month. And after the break, we'll check in with the Philippine national badminton team as they look ahead to another amazing year of competitions. Stay tuned, you're watching The Game.